You said we'd leave the EU tonight. We won't. So why should anyone trust anything else you say during this campaign? Well, of course, I'm incredibly frustrated uh, that we're not able to uh, get Brexit done today. But let's be in no doubt what's happened. We had a fantastic deal on the table. The House of Commons uh, voted it through, but then they voted again for delay. And we went round it the whole uh, exhaustively with members of Parliament. There was no way they were going to get this thing done, not just by today, not by the end of this month, uh, not by the end of next month, not, and not even by January the 31st. I offered them more time to debate our deal twice. We were gonna, we were, I said, we can sit round the clock and debate it, and they still wouldn't get it through. And after three and a half years, it was perfectly obvious to me that this parliament is just not going to vote Brexit through. Uh, there are too many people who are basically opposed to Brexit, who want to frustrate it. And so the only thing we can really do now is go to uh, our people, go to the country and say, come on, let's get this thing done. We've got an oven ready deal, put it in the microwave. Uh, as soon as we get back uh, on, uh, on after the election on Friday, on, on the 12th of uh, December, get it done. And then let's get on. Fantastic future for the NHS and for the country that we want to take forward. We're investing in our educational system, lifting up funding, and not just in this area, but across the country. We're investing in infrastructure, in new technology. That's the future that we want to build. But at the moment, we've got this, this roadblock, this, this log jam, and we need to get through it. It suits you to blame MPs, but you made a promise you couldn't deliver. So when will we leave the EU? Well, if, if you vote for, for us and uh, we get our programme through, which we, we will, because I, as I say, it's oven ready, it's, it's there to go, then we can be out at the absolute latest by January uh, the next year. And I hope very much that there will be a parliament that understands that this is now something that is kind of hanging over our country. It's a, a piece of business we need to dispatch get it done. It was the mandate of the, of the people. Uh, they voted by a pretty substantial majority uh, to do this and Parliament has simply stood in their way. So let's get through the logjam now, get a new Parliament going and then deliver on the priorities of the British people. And what we want to do, as I say, is to support our fantastic wealth creating sector, lift people up, the biggest increase in the living wage uh, in, in memory that we're putting in, uh, invest in a, in a high skill, high wage, but low tax economy. That is, the, that is the way forward. Stimulate the wealth creating sector so that we have the income that we need to pay for fantastic public services. That's our pitch to the country. It's about having both sides of the equation. It's not just having fantastic public services, though I believe passionately in that. It's also about supporting a strong wealth creating sector.